admired by progressives and even by our present Secretary of State. But Glenn doesn't share the same feelings about Planned Parenthood founder Margaret Sanger. Take a look at this clip that Burton's actually in, and we'll comment on it some more after you watch. Well, let's go on Margaret Sanger, because in the history books, this is what they say about Margaret Sanger. Boy, she was a princess. Um, she, uh, she started the first birth control clinic in 1916. We're taught that she's a champion of women's reproductive rights. She coined the phrase birth control, founder of Planned Parenthood. But in inf infancy, the movement Sanger led was part of a radical vision for reforming the world that made common cause with the socialist and the IWW uh, in challenging the limits of progressive reform. I don't think that goes far enough. She was, correct me if I'm wrong, trying to wipe out the, quote, Negro race. Was yes. she not? Yes. She starts something called the Negro Project, in which uh, she, she tries to enlist uh, black ministers and get them to go into their neighborhoods and, and tell black people not to reproduce, because they are, in her words, an unfit group. Does she, uh, does she not, uh, so she, she has these horrible, horrible ideas about um, Negroes, and she, she says, and I'm using her word, Negroes, um, she um, uh, goes on to say, we don't want the Negro to know that we're trying to wipe them out. God forbid they catch on. Um, but then, why does she leave the country? She leaves the country. Is she not kicked out to go over to Europe, or, or she goes over and she learns... Uh, a more subtle way, does she not? Yes. Right. She goes over to Europe and she learns a more subtle way, uh, eugenics, which is very popular, and talk just about birth control. When she, when she.